I want to talk about having patience. Patience is this one quality or characteristic or skill, if you want to call it that, that I think can really determine whether or not someone can be a successful self-taught programmer and if they can actually be successful software developers in the long run. Because patience is so important in so many ways. According to the Oxford Dictionary, the definition for patience is the capacity to accept or tolerate delay trouble or suffering without getting angry or upset. It's the one thing that I really think can help someone who's trying to learn how to code because you'll need patience while you're learning. There's gonna be many times when you're gonna be learning and you're gonna get frustrated. You're gonna get angry. You're not gonna know what you're doing. You're not gonna understand what's going on. If you can't prevent yourself from getting frustrated or upset when you're learning, you're gonna fail. You're not gonna succeed in doing this. Another thing is I mentioned getting stuck, right? As a developer, you're gonna get stuck. You're gonna get stuck when you're learning. You're gonna get stuck when you're professional developer and you're going to have to reach out to other developers or figure stuff out on your own. And if you don't have the patience to know that even after you've learned how to code and you're working as a professional and you don't have the patience to know that you're still going to get stuck on stuff and things are still going to be hard, you're going to need that patience and have that ability to stay calm and cool when you need to figure out how to fix a bug and you don't know how to fix it and it's impacting the thing that you work on and the thing that you're supposed to maintain or if you need to do something and you've never done it before and you come across a roadblock that you can't get past because you don't know you're going to need the patience that it takes to go out there and find the answer you're going to need the patience that it takes to calmly try to figure out what the problem is and keep your cool throughout the whole thing because if you don't and you get angry, people aren't gonna wanna work with you. If you're someone who gets stuck and gets mad and starts slamming their keyboard or like visibly gets flustered and upset, I, I know that there's people who are like that and they're not fun to work with. You don't wanna be the person that has to help someone who's impatient and wants to figure something out fast or they get so flustered that they don't wanna work on it and you're just like, whatever, I'll see if I can fix it and figure it out. Your patience is also gonna be tested when you've been working as a developer for a while and you have to help someone. If you don't have enough patience to sit back and talk through a problem with someone and help someone and be able to show them empathy and be able to help that person who obviously doesn't know the solution for it, the longer you do this, the more you become the person that knows when you have to teach people who are new. And then when you come across bigger problems, you're still the person who doesn't know. And if you're not patient when it comes to helping someone or if someone's impatient when it comes to helping you, it's not gonna be a good work environment and it's gonna make you flustered. The lack of patience will eventually get to you, whether it's you not being patient enough to help someone or to be able to deal with the problems that you come across on a daily basis, or if you have to deal with impatient people who make your work environment miserable and make you unhappy. Just having that patience really is something that makes being a developer and working with developers so much easier. And it can be a deal breaker. If you have an impatient boss, you're not gonna wanna work with them. And then the same goes with a coworker. And if you are that impatient person, then nobody's gonna wanna work with you. You're gonna need patience when things just don't click, when nothing makes sense, when you're struggling to make sense out of the most simple and basic things and you get upset and you feel stupid and you feel feel dumb and you start getting angry and you don't want to do it because you feel like you're just not cut out for it. Not having that patience in those moments when you really need them, when you need to realize like, hey, I just got to be calm. I got to read through this. Eventually things will start to make sense. Eventually things will start to click. But if you don't have that patience to be able to identify when you're getting flustered at things like that, then you're not going to learn how to code and you're not going to become a developer. You're also going to need patience when you start looking for jobs. You're going to need patience when you start filling out a bunch of applications and you don't hear anything back. You're going to need patience when you have to set up your resume. You're going to need patience when you have to set up your LinkedIn and you have to write down all your job experience. You're going to need patience when you're setting up your portfolio and trying to make it look good. You're going to need patience when you fine tune your resume and cover letter to every job that you apply for. You're going to need patience when it comes to having those phone interviews and getting rejected or getting ghosted. You're going to need patience when it comes to going to interviews and having one or two interviews and then getting rejected. You're going to need patience when you get that interview and you make it all the way to the end and you think you really got it and you don't. You're gonna need patience when you bomb your interview. You're gonna need patience when you do well on your interview but they still don't hire you. You're gonna need patience to deal with all the stuff that comes with getting a job. And if you don't have that patience, it's gonna be noticeable. They can tell when you're nervous, they can tell when you're aggravated, they're gonna be able to tell if you're an impatient person. And if you are, 
people aren't going to want to work with you because most people would rather work with someone who has a lot of patience because as a junior developer, you're going to be easier to work with. And as a senior developer, you're going to be easier to work with just from having this one thing. And it's just patience. It really is something so simple. And then to mention, when you do start working as a developer, you're going to need patience for all the same stuff that I pretty much just said. You're going to need patience when it comes to dealing with people. You're going to need patience when it comes to dealing with business. You're going to need patience when it comes to working on the same stuff over and over and over for a while. You're going to need patience when projects go over and you're going to need patience when you have ad hoc work and stuff that needs to get done and productions down and there's a fire that needs to be put out. You're going to need patience for all those things. You're also going to need patience for getting stuck. Like I mentioned, that getting stuck stuff never ends. It's something that we deal with forever as developers and it happens less and less as you do this longer and longer, but it's still going to happen. And when you do get stuck, you're going to need to have patience and it's something that you can practice. You can practice being more patient. You can do things like take walks, practice your breathing, do some meditation, turn on a diffuser, burn some incense, pray to all the programming gods. If you're just someone who's naturally impatient, learning the code is going to be something that's going to be way more difficult for you. And it's going to also be difficult to work with you. Practice being a Zen master and try to be as patient as you can. Work on your patience and build it like a skill and you'll be able to apply it to so many other areas of your life. So there you have it. That's the one skill I really think that can make a big difference for someone who's trying to learn how to code and become a programmer. And it can also help you if you're already an experienced programmer. Just have a little more patience. That's all you need. All right. With all that said, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.